All right, here we are for match number one with our Black Red Pirate deck. This, I believe, is unfortunately a mulligan. Thankfully, our opponent also mulligans. Oh, boy. Well, if we thought that hand was bad, <laughs> this hand is certainly worse. Yeah, keep. Probably any land on bottom, any spell on top. Um, not that spell. Don't think drawing a one mana one one is really gonna do anything for us this early. Okay, well, uh, start to helping us unmulligan. Opponent plays Wily Goblin, which I'm still not convinced is worth playing. Oh, we're in the mirror match here. Oh, Pirates Cutlass. Our opponent knows. They know what's up. Okay. Well, Certainly we'll have ways to get our creatures back. Attack us again for three. Sky March Bloodletter, soft to flyers as I said, but the Pyromancer should be able to take care of that. I think I can't afford to grab that, and I'm gonna put that in my graveyard. I wish it was a creature that I could put in the graveyard for March, but. So I can't block here, what I have to do is then attack, and then Pyromancer kill the Bloodletter, and then trade Pyromancer off for Wily Goblin. That's the plan. So we're going to take five here. Opponent drops a mountain. And does nothing. Alright, Pyromancer are down. Two damage to the flyer. Okay. Not getting wrecked by Skullduggery. No play from our opponent. They drop a sixth land, so we could probably assume that one of the two cards in their hand is a land. So it's possible they're trying to play a seven drop here, but. Raisin Buccaneers goes exploring, reveals a swamp. No attack with the Brazen Buccaneers, which is very surprising. Gonna instantly block here. I assume they go ahead and re equip. To the Buccaneers. They do not, which is confusing. Okay, I will uh, explore with my interloper. Mark, that's going to go on top for sure. And now I will attack with the one interloper. The reason I wanted to play that pre-combat is if this was going to be a 2-2, then I would have left this back to trade with the Buccaneers with the Cutlass on it. But now that I know this is a 3-3 and can block effectively, I can attack freely. Wanted Scoundrels. It's a big boy. Definitely a big boy. Equip. 
equips the wanted scoundrels with a cutlass. Sure. So this is going to be good. We're going to get to attack with, well, I guess just one. I guess just one interloper. And is it worth it to put the mark on just to, to gain five? Gain five, kill wanted scoundrels dead? Seems dangerous. I think not. I think I'm just going to go ahead and attack. And then if they don't block at all... I will just grab one Pyromancer. And kill the Buccaneers. No need to get crazy greedy here. Especially knowing that we have the one march still in our hand. So they know we have Mark of the Vampire. Which is certainly less good for us, but unless they've got. Okay, so they're going to fire cannon blast the Dire Fleet. The question is, do I take six and die to like lightning strike, sure strike, unfriendly fire? I think not. All right. Hold? I mean, I, they must have something. There's no way they were just trading. Really? Okay, I stand corrected. Our opponent is insane. I guess they they can't block this because they only have two cre they only have one creature. <clears throat> Their own Mark of the Vampire, my goodness. They're going to go up to 15 here. Okay, I'll take it. That's a real problem for us. A real problem. Okay, I will attack with both. So I'm cracking them back for 8, but only gaining 5. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll return to pirates. I believe I play the interloper. Hmm. I think I play the interloper. I think I been the pyromancer. I've already got one of those. I'll pass. They attack for eight again. I attack for four, seven, twelve. Gosh, I can get them to one. It's a fun, fun format, isn't it, folks? Sure is. Pirate's Cutlass would be great. I'm not going to block. Land go. LRC. That's a very good draw. 
Maybe? Because it's not that good of a draw. So I attack with everything. Play Pyromancer, deal two to them. And hope. It's not the best plan I've ever had, but... Okay, that's pretty good. This seems like not a removal spell. Rigging Runner is revealed. I assume they don't want to draw that. Maybe I did want to draw this. Hmm. So if I attack with everything, they'll go to nine. They can. And their last card is certainly a land, right? If they didn't attack last turn, that means they don't have good attacks this turn. So I can just play Lightning Rig Crew and force the issue. Now feel like I am better set up than they are. Now that we're not racing, now you have to attack. I can block with these two. I mean, you might have just drawn a, a interaction spell, but I don't think so. Okay, so I get two treasures, which is not really relevant. Skittering, Heartstopper, totally fine. Equip up that guy, totally fine. Oh, baby, yeah. Pingaling. LRC, untap. I think I don't attack. I also want my Dead Eye Tormentor to trigger both Lightning Rig crews. Dousing Dagger from our opponent. Pre-attacks. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Just equipping up to the interloper. But you can't attack here, can you? No. All right, I think we got this now. So we're gonna go ping-a-ling, 
Tingling. I think attack, attack, because you gotta double block the Dire Fleet. And then aren't you gonna be dead? Because I didn't need to ping them to let them like know that a. Yeah, but you gotta double block. Kill the interloper. You'll take three. Play Tormentor. Untap. Wow. The old mull to five win. Always feels good. Always feels good. So we saw a couple equipment. We saw that this card is strong. We saw that the Pyromancers were very good for us. We saw that March of the Drowned was very good for us. Is there anything that we felt that was not like this didn't seem great? Actually, like it seems it seems like it'll be fine. It, it'll be fine. I don't need to cut it, obviously. It's okay. I still like having 17 lands with... Triple March and Double Cutlass and Ruthless Knave seems good to me, so I'm going to keep it as is. <clears throat> I actually do like having Fathom Fleet Cutthroat in the deck. Yeah, this hand seems good to me. Keep. Fire Shrine Keeper, really. Ooh, baby, Ruthless Knave. And the old Wily Goblin. Nice, a real card. Okay, I'm gonna go Firebrand instead. Though I could see you just playing Castaways there to block. See what our opponent does. They play the Cutlass. They throw it on the Wily Goblin. Yeah, I'm gonna block, I think. Especially with Triple March, like, I don't feel that bad about trading off my pirates. The fact that he will eventually get to equip the Cutlass to the Menace is annoying, but nothing to be done, really. Sweet. All right, play Ruth. No equip, just attack. Sure, can't do anything about that. Heartstopper. Uh huh. Land would be so good. Just be able to go two drop, two drop. <clears throat> yeah, that's really good. Um, yeah, I'm fine with um, trading Ruthless Knave for Heartstopper plus Treasure while my opponent is mana screwed. All right, so they, they missed their third land, or their fourth land drop, which is very, like, make, is very relevant for making this attack. I could also just sure strike. I mean, I know I do have three March of the Drowns, but, all right, let's sure strike this. Let's keep them around.
It does seem better. I'll play the thing that can actually attack. Okay, take three. Deadeye Tormentor. Well, Desperate Castaways is going to go. Go ahead and attack with Hoarder. And now Pyromancer is going to pick off the... Menace creature. Now I kind of feel like everything's coming up Millhouse for us, even though we're down to one card, and it's not even a very good one. All right, equips up the Dead Eye Tormentor. I assume no attacks. Oh, I assume wrong. I will block. Yeah. Rigging runner, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. LRC, baby. Do work. No attacks possible for the home team. Headstrong Groot, don't care much about that. All right, play land. Do I want to play Fathom Fleet Cutthroat? So, what's going to happen here? They're going to equip the Brute, which is a big boy. I think I'm just on the sack this, draw some cards plan. Draw a card plan. Just a land. Arch of the Drowned, really, uh, what I want to draw here. Maybe I should be running four. Could also be on the win by on clock against our opponent plan. <laughs> okay, what we thought they would do. Yeah, not something I'm particularly well equipped to deal with. March of the Drowned, yikes. Opponent's getting value. Well, we get a Cutlass, which is not nothing. So now we can double block the Brute, effectively. So if I put it on Lightning Raid Crew, well, I can also attack and play Fathom Fleet. I like that. Let's do that, attack. Play 
play Fathom Fleet, untap. In this instance, and I imagine in all instances, I wish this was the 2-2 two -two menace explore creature. So I'm going to probably make that swap before game three if that happens, and certainly before match two. Famous last words. Um, our opponent's playing pretty slowly, not loving that. They've also been stuck on lands for so long. Poor baby. Swashbuckling. Okay. I can do nothing but triple block at this point and say, sure, you get to kill two things or my lightning rig crew. I assume you kill two things. And I'm at the mercy of drawing one of my three March of the Drowned. I mean, it's a two for two right now. Mm, no, we'll just attack. Power of LRC. Ah, blood letter. Yeah, that's that's a clock. For sure that's a clock. It's a two turn clock, in fact. Yeah. Actually, I should probably attack and then move the sword. Our opponent is upset about being on three lands, but they're probably going to win. They are probably going to win. Especially because I have, other than Mark of the Vampire, I have really no way to deal with Sky March Bloodletter. Yeah. All right. Good game. Go on to game three. Certainly going to take out Fathom Fleet, bring in Interloper. Do I want to play Bloodletter? Do I want to play another March? I don't think I want another March. I think this is a good I think this is good as is. Yes, Snapkeep. This is a great hand. So we get to go Captain into Firebrand into start making two twos. Opponent mulls to six, which is good for us. They keep and they bottom. All right. Drop El Capitan. Opponent plays Desperate Castaways.
And then, okay. We'll go ahead and attack with the Capitan. Play the Fire Biscuits. Pass it over. No fire cannon blast, please. Feels like they would have fired that off pretty quickly if that's what they had. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, I think, whoa, in they come. What do you got? Uh, oh, you should have done that already, my friend. Oh, interesting. So now I have to decide. That's a bummer for sure. I think I still would rather have a 2 2 menace. Yes. Is that true? Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked with Fathom Fleet. We can get it back. Three triple march of the round. We can get it back. Swarshbuckling. Mm, still can't attack though. Very interesting. All right, I'll attack with the Menace. Play Dire Fleet. LRC on top for sure, baby. Your own dire fleet, yep. Yeah. Revealing Skittering Heartstopper. I assume you want that on top. So I'm gonna attack with both and assume that they double block the three three and then play Storm Fleet. If they double lock the 2 2, then I'll still do the same thing and play Stormfleet and kill the 3 3. They're down to five minutes. Should have, should be making them play things out. Uh, we'll just play LRC. Keep land in hand because I know they have dead eye. And I think just pass. I could trade Dire Fleet for Heartstopper, but I'd rather be able to. Okay, they play land. They pass. Another lightning recruit. It's been pretty lucky that we've drawn both of them each game. Marching back Dire Fleet, sure. The 
Raisin Buccaneers revealed. Probably not what you want to draw, and it, and I would agree. They uh, they put that in their graveyard. our opponent. Oh, what a great time to draw this card. So, yeah, I think we're just going to go ping. Ping. Dead eye tracker. Now I want to stop in our upkeep. What am I hoping for? I mean, more pirates are great for lightning raid crew triggers. Uh, Cutlass would be nice. They want a raid trigger. So we'll go ahead and go block like this, I guess. Uh-huh, rigging runner. And swashbuckling. Wow. I don't love the way in which our opponent is playing swashbuckling so aggressively. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and exile these two cards. Go ahead and explore. Uh yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, we go ahead and ping, ping, return you and you. Oh no, hold on. Return you and you. Play you. Untap the biddies. I mean, we've got our opponent dead next turn anyway. So. And it's all because of these babies. Yep, doesn't matter. And we got there. All right. That was a long match one. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, no. I did want to make the change of this cutthroat for the interloper. Okay. Oh, Soulbush One. It's a fellow content creator. I think I can't keep this hand. It needs too much to be good. This hand is much better. Keep. And. Uh, bottom. Okay. 
Nice colors of good draw. Sorry about that, I had to take a phone call. Um, all right, we're back. Feels like everything that's happened has been pretty straightforward. Our opponent is stuck on mana. Um, we traded off our 1-1 for their, ooh, that's kind of nice actually. Well, let's go ahead and drop the Cutlass. No reason not to. Ah, he found his fourth land. Disaster. Let's see what raid trigger he's up to now. Marching back. Gets back Deadeye. Well, I guess I'm going to pitch Sure Strike. And I'm going to go ahead and attack. And then play Dire Fleet. Untaps the lightning rig. I draw land, which is fine. Opponent attacks with Blight Keeper. And nothing. Nothing with four lands? Are you kidding me? How's that possible? My lightning ray crew is about to get wrecked. No? What? Did I tormentor? Untap. Card something from your full grip. Huh.
hijack and then costly plunder must be what they have sure just gonna take five can't do much else sure So if I just do like this, I really don't want to mark because I don't have to. I just attack with both. You block the four three. Pass it over to you. I feel like we're getting hijacked again. Yep. So you really have another costly plunder? It's just attacking me for four. It really does. Good for you. Oh, baby. Okay, now, now we're talking here. So... I'm just gonna attack. Which maybe will intrigue you even to not block. And it does. And we're gonna return tracker and interloper play tracker untap ping play interloper untap ping winner winner chicken dinero all right hijack huh oh boy well I want to bring in duress. Do I want to bring in my own costly plunder? This seems bad against them. Like, even the life gain is good, but the fact that they can hijack sacrifice seems pretty bad. I think I like duress against them. To be on the draw, we could go up a spell down a land. But again, triple march and nave. I think lands are okay. I'm gonna submit. Hopefully, we can draw a two drop. I'll keep. That's a two drop of sorts. I will probably not run this out on three if I don't need to. Freebooter picking up Sure Strike. You got it, buddy. Yeah, I, again, I, like I said, I don't need to. 
So I'm not going to run out the Tormentor here. Seeker Squire revealing Swamp. Yeah. Bunch of one twos are not really scaring me, buddy. Sure. Play Interloper. Oh, yeah. I want that. So pretty thrilled about a 3 3 menace. What do you got? Oh, contract killing. Well, well, well. Uh, all right, I guess we'll play the Captain. And we'll play Deadeye, you got me. Attack for one. Kill Fathom Fleet. Yep. <laughs> Just the best draw every time. All right, attack with Deadeye. I think we kill this. I think we get, get back our sure strike. So I'm fine to trade off my storm fleet for their storm fleet. I mean, it seems like he's got the same idea as we, but I don't know how many marches he has. Bonded horn crest. We'll attack. This is costly plunder, right? Sure. The question is, should I do this now? I think, no, surprise, surprise, element of surprise is certainly better. Oh goodness, what's this? Burning suns, sun crowned hunters, that's fine. So I can, can't really attack. So I think I just want to go march back these two guys. Graveyard Castaways, play El Capitan, pass it over. All right, I'm trying to just hope that what we've got can match up well against what they've got. Seems like that's not gonna work out. Board stalls are probably going to favor him.
contract killing again. Sure. Hijack? Mm hmm I think I am forced to double block this. This is sort of like a two for two. I'm trading my, I mean, if he doesn't have costly plunder as his last card, I'm trading my two cards for his hunter and his hijack. But it looks like he does have a way to sacrifice. He just says LRC, okay. Well, you have perfect information, my friend. And I will attack with Stormfleet. draw costly plunder cute well that amount of card advantage is rough for us hijack here be my guess yeah okay game three we're no stranger to game three been there before got one another march how do i combat the freaking costly plunder Hijack life that our opponent is living. Duress, I still think, is right for that. I don't know. Yeah. Triple March seems pretty good. I'm going to submit this again. Yes. Keep. Again, obviously, we would like to draw two drop, but. The opposite of a two drop is a five drop. Freebooter. Wanted scoundrels. Okay. This is a scary start. Oh goodness. That's bad news for us. Land please. Okay, interlope, interlope and hope. Yeah, attempt the double block. So I guess I don't actually want to do that. That's stupid. What I actually want to do is attack, take four, or take five, rather, so that then I can Stormfleet to kill the Freebooter. But uh, whatever. Now that I have made this bed, I will lie in it. Another land, jeez. He's stuck, maybe he stays stuck. He does. No. Uh, Dead Eye Tormentor, don't care. Discard. Wow. OK. 
Okay. We'll attack. I think they'll just shoot the Tormentor. No reveal? Uh, reveal Blightkeeper. Almost certainly he bends it. He's trying to find a land. And attacks? What? Okay. Another Cutlass. Wow. Yes, please. And I will play the Pyromancer. I guess this gets me if he's got another discard spell, but applying the maximum amount of pressure here. Finds a fourth land. Hopefully it's too slow. Let's see. Bonded Horncrest. You got it. Welp. If I play the Cutlass and attack with everything, what can you do? Block, block. You could double block the Dire Fleet and go to one. Seems really bad to do. Yeah, that seems really bad. So I think I'm just gonna go Cutlass. Equip up to Stormfleet and attack with everything. And I assume what you do. God, you are really doing it. Why? Going to one? Okay, going to one. Even with Mountain Hijack, I'm not dead. What can I top deck? March is always great. Stormfleet is great. Mark is great. Sure Strike is great. Lightning Rig Crew is great. Captivating crew, the truth is revealed. All right, well, I just have to attack with everything. I need to equip this and then attack with everything. Wait, everything dies that way though. Shoot, well, that stinks. Everything I control dies. <sighs> See, it was block, block, block. What are the other options? Put Cutlass here. Block, block, block. Mm, bro, 
Carlos. I could do nothing, I suppose. Raising Buccaneers, revealing Captivating Crew. What? Double Captivating Crew? Oh my god. Hold? Wait, did I want to do that? Shit. Am I just dead to hijack now? Captivating Crew, this is contract killing. Yep. I need March. I'm not going to get it. Not in time, anyway. Yeah, it might have just been better to hang back and actually have a board against a person with four cards in their hand. Oh, cute. He used hijack to make his captivating crew haste. Yeah, I can't help but feel that I screwed up that game. I don't know. Double captivating crew is tough to deal with, but... Hands have been less than desirable. Keep. Bottom. As much as that pains me to do. Third pirate player in a row. Daring Saboteur. All right. Attack with Fathom Fleet. Play another Fathom Fleet. No blocks. Go ahead and loot. And discards Siren's Ruse. Plays Chart a Course. Plays Skullduggery. Gross. Well. Let's do it.
Raiders Wake, huh? Sure. Attack. And I think shoot that guy. Must have another play here, right? Dead Eye Quartermaster. To go and find Dusk Legion Dread Knot. Okay, well, I'm gonna attack with both because if they block with Dead Eye, then uh, pump, pump, pump. If they then play the Dusk Legion, then they can't crew it with the 1-1. One, one. Ah, goodbye, friend. So many little 1-1 one, one wieners. Play Ruthless Knave. Tax? Really? And now you'll crew, I guess. Or not crew, you'll equip so that you could crew. Oh, we're just waiting on. A March of the Drowned, as it feels like I have been in every game. Uh oh. Yeah. This is snowballing out of control for us. How do they have so many more? How do they drawn so many more cards than us? Uh, they drew off Charter Course. They looted a few times. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they've seen eight more cards than we have. That's really oppressive. <laughs> Six. Mm hmm. So now they could recrew if they wanted to. It's not bad. It's not great, though. <sighs> what? Can I do? I attack, they crew. Yeah, I am going to do this. Really? Oh, I'm thrilled about that, dude. I probably should have shot the one one that I can't block. Oh. 
thought crewing there was pretty disastrous for our opponent, but it may not end up actually mattering. Take four. Sailor of Means, they'll re-equip the Prying Blade. Yep, this is not going great for us. Not sure what we can draw. Attack for four, sure. No re-equip, you say. Oh shit, why didn't I play that land? All dugs, sure. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Ah, all right. Let's focus. I think Mark's coming out. I think March number four is coming in. And I think I like sure strike out and dress in. Yeah. This feels like every match I've wanted March of the Drowned, like, all the time. So let's give ourselves a fourth one. Yes. Keep, though these hands have been kind of awkward. I do have, like, six plays before turn three that I can make. Just doesn't feel like I've gotten one in my opener that much. All right. Well, they're going to take my turn three play away, which is a bummer. Get to drop Dire Fleet Hoarder, which is nice. Draw a play to be made. I wonder if they're going to go for a discard here. Ah, draw. Attack. Play the interloper. Gosh, do I don't want this? I think no. I think we just put that in the graveyard. Again, putting it into the graveyard is not the worst with having March the Drowned. Sure thing. Really? 
cast a counterspell of some sort. Stream Caller Siren. Interesting. Still gonna run the, one of these out. Sure. These flyers are gonna make quick work of us. That doesn't really change the clock. Okay. So, I could have also played like Interloper Dead Eye Tracker. Yep, gonna take seven, gonna die almost certainly. Because I have a zero interaction in this deck. Dead Eye Quartermaster. Probably gonna find Dreadnought. Play Stormfleet Spy. I don't think I can win here. That was like basically the best draw we could hope for. And I assume they're just gonna go block block. Yep. Man. If they don't have that, we win, but they do, and we don't. All right, well, thanks for watching. Sorry I couldn't uh, pull out at least a 2-1 there for us, but I thought the match one was very, very interesting, so I'm going to go ahead and stick this on the YouTubes. Thanks for watching, and remember, be sure to subscribe.